January 30th. It is, uh, what, a week and a half into winter? <laughs> and I am in shorts and a t-shirt, ankle socks, and running shoes because it's like 65 degrees out or something like that. It's a very rainy day, but I think the rain's done for the day. But we've had two days of nothing but yuck rain. So, kind of can't really go riding or anything like that on our mini bikes. But what I can do is refresh y'all's memory about something that we did about six or seven months ago when we did Save a Lawn, Save a Life's yard. We did um, Mansion. And we did it in my yard as well. We put some spot spraying down. Now, a little while back, maybe seven months ago, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the video because uh, I don't remember what I titled it. But Alan from the Lawn Care Nut jumped in and gave me some advice. I channeled my inner Alan and Alan popped in on the video and then Alan channeled his inner buddy and they decided that a weed that was in my yard was a particular type of weed and he gave me some advice on how to treat that weed and he said, you know, it's expensive stuff but it works really good. Well, when I went and priced it, it was like a hundred bucks for a teeny little bottle and I was like, oh my Jesus, I can't spend that. I mean, I got kids for a reason. I'll put them in the yard and they can pull the weeds, you know. That's not the reason. I mean, I'm hoping they do good in sports and it's my retirement, but that's not important. Um, so I asked uh, Site One Landscape, which was John Deere Landscapes, which was Lesco products. It's like Lesco sold to John Deere, John Deere sold to Site One, and Site One is now the Shiznack. Still selling Lesco fertilizers and stuff like that and John Deere products. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but anyways, he said, try this. This was like 30 something bucks for a bottle. It's called Mansion. It's turf herbicide and it's select. So you can spray this over Centipede, St. Augustine and other Southern style lawns. I'm not sure about, it says selectively controls annual and perennial weedy grasses and broadleaf weeds, including rosette and vining type decots. Also controls bahia grass in Bermuda grass areas. So you, you got to be careful. You got to know the type of grass that you have. Um, I have centipede grass. So I also did Save a Lawn, Save a Life's lawn and we top sprayed her entire yard with my backpack sprayer on the very first episode of Save a Lawn, Save a Life. And I'll link to that up here so you can check that out. I literally did that. Um, so what I did is I took this and it said uh, that this will treat, I think it said two and a half acres. So I was like, okay, how many ounces is in this? Two and a half acres. How many square feet are in an acre? And then I broke it all the way down and I did all the, all the, all my notes right here. And you could pause it if you want to check my math. But what I came up with is in a two gallon jug of water, go ahead and put 0 0.016 ounces of mansion and I let it sit for like 30 minutes, swirl it around, and then I go ahead and I top spray. So it's the dead of winter. And let me show you guys something real quick. You see the grass? It's like completely dormant. The only thing that's green in the grass is weeds. Except for this spot right here, which I'm not sure if it's showing good for you. But right here down close where I seeded it about six or seven weeks ago, Lots of green in there. Lots of green. That's all the baby grass. So that's I'm really excited about that. That real it's working. That was all crab grass, and we killed it off really, really good with a atrazine. Let's go atrazine or a Scotch bonus s actually. Scotch bonus s three and one killed all that. Left me with dirt. So we seeded it going into winter just to see what would happen, and we got some good green. But now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this opportunity, and I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. I really don't know what's going to happen. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix up two gallons at .016 using my little measuring doohickey. And I'm going to put it in my little pump-up sprayer. And I'm going to go around. I'm not going to treat the whole yard. But I'm going to go around and I'm going to identify all the green areas in the yard. And I'm going to decide, is it a weed or is it grass because our temperature is a little warm? And if it looks like it's a weed, I'm spraying it because now's a great time to maybe get ahead of it. Man, I could be totally wrong. Um, it might not work at all. I don't know, but I got nothing else to lose. It's a rainy day. I got this stuff. This is going to last me freaking a, life, a lifetime. I might as well use it and we'll learn together. Six or seven weeks ago, I said, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let's throw this seed down and see what happens. 
and we did a seeding video. I mowed it all the way down to the ground. I raked it all out. I seeded the crap out of it and I watered it in like you're supposed to. And the end results are phenomenal. It's working really good. So I'm going to show you guys that up close because I said I'd be back and I'd let you know. And we're going to go on to the next thing and say, I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll be back and we'll try. I mean, we'll see what happens at the end of January. We're either going to have a bunch of dead weeds or we're going to have um, nuclear weeds. I don't know. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but I could just be wasting my time. Let's find out. All right. So like I said, I, I owe you guys uh, an update on this. So let me show you this area. This was all basically dirt. <laughs> it really died out real fast but there's a lot of green there now a lot of green everything that you see that's green is all baby centipede grass growing from the seeds and then everything that you see that's browning is centipede grass that's dormant from the frost so it's like the seeds didn't they didn't get affected from the from our first frost that we got about a week after I put the seeds down and our yards have just been yellow and dormant ever since um, some areas are trying to come back like all this right here is trying to come back and we're gonna get a frost and that's all gonna go brown again but uh, this all this green that you see it's all filling in so it looks like that uh, the Scott's easy seed that we put down it's really doing a good job and here's centipede up here and you see it's trying to start to grow again where it's protected by the house we didn't get too much frost up here going around um, it's like it's trying to come back you might be able to see some green in the camera but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around I'm gonna identify spots like this that have centipede and weed and spray it spray it there I'm just going to go around and spot spray these areas with the two gallon mix I just mixed up and see. Now a lot of these weeds will just die out when it gets warm anyways, but what the hell? See, weeds. We just It won't hurt to try. See what it does. Could be a little prevention. Some yellowing flowers. So I'll just go around. I'm not going to blanket spray the whole yard, but I'm just going to go around. I'm going to spot spray my yard here. And my neighbor's yard where she's got some funky stuff growing right here now she also had real bad crabgrass growing in here and I treated this area and I seeded this area too and she's got lots of baby green grass growing too she also she also has a mixture of some weeds growing too but I can't treat the weeds because it'll kill the baby grass we're just gonna have to let this ride let her seeds fill in, but this was all crabgrass here. In the dead of summer, it looked fine. Green and green, everything looked good when it was mowed. But as we started to get into fall and the centipede grass started to go away, started to retract, the crabgrass really started to show. And I was like, you know what? Let's take care of that. Let's get that cleaned up. So she's got a lot of little areas to treat. We can spray up in here all with the weed control the mansion and you can spray mansion right on the grass it won't hurt it but I'm really gonna focus mainly on the weed because I'm not really too sure what's gonna happen with dormant grass putting mansion on it I don't know I know our temperatures are good so when it says you know don't don't apply in temperatures below 60 or 70 or 50 we're fine on that we're good we're nice and warm so We'll just have to see what happens. I'll put you guys on a tripod and I'll walk around and spot spray. Okay. I'm not using any soap in here or anything like that. It's just a mansion and water. And I'm just going to go ahead and like this whole area here, we'll just top coat this whole area and uh, just see what happens. Just a nice mist, not too much. And we'll make a nice line so we can we know if there's an issue with spraying this time of year, whatever. Might be a little bit late to know, but this video will be up next year. We can reference it. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just gonna walk around and look for green. If it's green, I'm gonna see, is it a weed or is it centipede trying to come back? And I'm just gonna spot tree. There'll be no green weeds thriving while the rest of the lawn is dormant. 
and I'm looking to see if that's going to make spring better. Kind of like a pre-emergent now, in a sense. And you can be sitting there going, of course not. You still need to put a pre-emergent down. Well, I know that, but a pre-emergent won't kill what's post-emerged. So if we kill what's post-emerged now, when we do our pre-emergent, say, late February, it should make a huge difference when the mowing season starts back up mid-March. That's what I'm thinking. If not, who cares? We're just trying. Now I'm just going to walk around, spot treat. All right, man, so that's really it. That's kind of just wanted to get this down, see what happens. So we'll check back, but I promised you guys I would check back with you on the seeds, and I did. And the seeding, uh, the seeding came out really nice. I'm very impressed with how, it's, uh, how the grass seed is taking, even in the winter. And we had some frost. We had some 20s temperatures in the 20 Fahrenheit's. Um, so I'm really impressed that it's it's coming back as well as it is. Should be this should be pretty nice now. Um, we spot treated the weeds and uh, used the mansion. So we'll see what happens. We'll be back. We'll do a checkup video on this. I'll let you know. Tell me about the whistle.